allowing time. How often I have wanted to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were not willing. Luke 13, 34b, New King James Version. Good families lead full lives, full of the need to's, laundry in the lawn, the want to's, hair dyes, nights with the guys, and the guilted to's, volunteer, ask relatives here. With the brief 24-hour day, too often we race by the priority. Most parents would agree that next to their relationship with the Lord and with each other, their children are what make life worth living. It doesn't matter that they're typically sticky, frequently exhausted, and incredibly demanding. Our eyes fall on them in the rush, and we experience the heart of God. Throughout Scripture, we are admonished as His children to pause and know our Father. This is the model we must take with our own parenting. The pound of life isn't meant to distract us from the moments of heart-minding. Rather, Life is meant to pulse us into the arms of one another, leaving the world behind. That extra hour spent rocking the baby, the silly time on the floor playing dolls and fire trucks, the conversation around the kitchen table after eating and before dishes are done. These are the ethereal moments that can drift by without capture if we're not careful. As we are God's children, He wants to know our hearts. In the spirit of modeling that truth, it is okay to stop the rush in order to learn your child's heart. For in that moment, you are demonstrating their Heavenly Father's own longing to know them. Let's pray. Dear Lord, my heart is to serve you completely. Sometimes in my rush to do the right things, I confess I don't do the most important things. My ideas of priorities keep getting in the way. Lord, right now, I confess this as sin. I ask that your sweet Holy Spirit whisper to my heart every time the busyness creeps in to snatch the time meant for my children. Let your mind, Lord God, become my mind. Let your mind become my mind. Father, help us as a family cling to one another and truly know each other's hearts. Amen. Kimberly Gill, Academic Dean.